Okay, this is the Batavis. And we are going to check our port time after all this porting and just see how close we came to our target. Our target was between 156 and 160 by measurement calculations. Uh, we have the degree well centered. And the way we did this was from TDC, the piston is slightly above. So, as you can see, the straight edge rocks. So, when I brought it down, um, you'll find the TDC on one side. And on this one here, it was at uh, 12 degrees. So you do that there, and that's right where you get contact with the flat. Right there. That's where it would just touch. And then you will go to uh, center your center your gauge, and at 12 over here. And then you check it again. But usually you do it with a free hand, and you'll feel it just bump your straight edge. So we know that we are totally centered, and this is a really good time to uh, go ahead and punch it for timing later. Right there, TDC. You can see, I have a scratch right there. On the flywheel, a little notch I filed in, and I have that marked. And then at 26 degrees, I have I have it uh, where my timing is, which should be two millimeters no down from top to the center is at 26 degrees. For many of you who are wondering, that's usually where these things will like to be timed. So now I have a real timing mark. So I can just use a battery and a regular timing light and check it without having to get in there and fuck around with the other part. Excuse the cheese ball finch. Okay, and then when you go to check, you go and see what the timing is where the exhaust port opens. And our exhaust port is opening right there. You can't quite see it, but it's just cracking the port right there. Let's see, right there. And so it's about a hundred and one and a half. And we'll go, and then you go past, bring it all the way around, top to center. And then bring it down on the other side and see where you are. So we'll just bring it to 102 and we'll take a look. And sure enough, there it is. So, what you do is you take your uh, 102s and you multiply that by 2. So that would be a 204. And you subtract that from 360. And that's how you derive at your duration on the camshaft. Now we're going to check the uh, transfer port timing, okay? So we'll go down a little further here. And you see it just, just starting to crack there at about 121 degrees. And we check both ports are open the same, so I'm not going to bother to go around and show you, but I have them both timed as that. Uh, let's see measurement. And so, I'll uh, go around and bring the motor around to the other side and make sure that our timing is all centered and let's see, and they are right Okay, and there we are. Okay, and that's it. And with that there, oh, excuse me, it's 19, yep, yeah. yeah, right there, and it's just cracking open, so usually you'll take a small seal pick, and usually right when it just touches the seal pick, because you kind of sign off the first uh, 15, 20,000 it opens just like in a uh, conventional valve system on the timing. And here we are. And here we are at 121. Okay. So you did your 121. Multiply that by 2. And that becomes a 242. 242. Um, 
360 will give you um, like a 118. So we have a 118 uh, duration timing on the intake and the other. And with that timing on this, uh, we should be able to. Um, it should it should run strong, just under uh, 7,000. Um, Tavises can't really get them to run. They just don't like to run over. You get them up to 7,500, and you start shattering the ring because the rings just aren't strong enough in these little buggers. And there it is. I had to remove the coil. And the way I placed this on here is I used four super magnets. These little rare earth magnets. Be careful. I almost pinched my finger. Ouch. <laughs> and then I have a little rubber stop here. I just placed on it. It should just pull off. And if you look on the back side, you can see it's just a little plastic cap with some duct tape on it. And it's stuck it on there. And basically, I got this, uh, what I used to do, Miller's Chrysler had one of the better timing wheels. It's nice and big. Gives you a nice, clean um, uh, system here. Easy to read, easy to use, nice big wheel. And uh, I've had this little baby for a lot of years. I've set a lot of motors up with it. Um, two and four cycles, and it's, this is the easiest way there is to check your port timing. And you can also use this before you cut your ports. You can place this on, find your TDC, and measure down how far from the top of the cylinder you would want to um, cut, have your ports cut so that you know when you're cutting them um, how you can go ahead and get your timing to happen. So, this pretty much concludes um, this part of it. Um, so, we are all done with this. So now we can just go ahead and use two little springs here um, to hold your cylinder down. And this is timed with a single gasket. So if I want to get just a little bit more top in, I can add a second gasket to it. And I had uh, machined down off uh, about 23 thousandths or so off of the uh, top of the cylinder and the hip. And as you can see, my um, cylinder is very well polished. I'll go ahead.